What's up everybody? I'm Shaitan Shu from Dream Abroad and in this video we are going to talk about the details of the huge opportunity for all the H-1B visa holders if you want to move to Canada. So a couple of weeks ago Canada announced that if you are an H-1B visa holder you can get a chance to move to Canada, get a three-year open work permit. The portal was supposed to open today and yes it is now open for all the H-1B visa holders. So in this video we're going to talk in detail about this great update, great opportunity for all the H-1B visa holders. We are going to talk about the details of this announcement, the benefits, the eligibility criteria, the documents, the fee. So basically who can apply, how you can apply and what happens after you apply. What can you expect? And towards the last, why this could be once in a lifetime opportunity for you to move to Canada pretty easily. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back when we talk about this great opportunity in detail. I want to keep this video very crisp and clear so let's just quickly start with the eligibility criteria. So there's just two eligibility criteria which are very plain and simple. Number one, you should have a valid H-1B visa. Number two, you should be currently living in US. So if you meet these two simple conditions then you're eligible to apply for a three-year open work permit. Now allow me to explain why this is so important and this could be a game changer for you. So H-1B is also a work permit and then there's Canada's open work permit. The Canada's open work permit offers you a lot many benefits because number one, you can actually apply for any employer. Your visa is not bound with any employer so you're free to switch your organization as and when required. Okay, number two, let's be a bit realistic. You know, living in US, your chances of getting the green card are so low. But if you move to Canada, however, there's no guarantee, but your chances of getting the Canadian PR after you've spent a couple of years working in Canada would be very high. While the work culture of Canada and US is not exactly the same, but still you'll find so many similarities in the work culture and in the overall living style between US and Canada. So it won't be wrong to say that it might be a very smooth transition for you just moving across the north. Number four. Your spouse can also work, which might not be possible with H-1B visas. So with Canada's open work permit, you can actually apply for your spouse's study visa or the work permit as well. So your spouse can also work while you're working here. In this unstable economic world, if you get laid off, you don't have to worry about those 60 days time period. Unlike H-1B visa, you don't have to worry about any time period, at least until those three years are complete. So now when we have talked about the eligibility criteria and the huge benefits and these were just top five benefits that we talked about let's just talk about some more details about this program. How you can apply for this work permit? The online portal is open as of this morning 16th of July and you can actually go on to apply online. We'll talk about the documents that you would need. The fee would be 155 Canadian dollars which would turn out to be around 120 USD. And the processing time mentioned over there is around six weeks. Now before we talk about the portal or the documents or anything else, let's just talk about something very, very important. The time. The time that you have today, you don't want to lose that time. There is a cap of 10,000 applications and one year. So in that one year time, if the 10,000 applications get filled, the program would be closed. Now you might feel that 10,000 is such a big number and you can do it maybe the next week or the next month. But trust me on this, there are so many people waiting for this. I personally know people who actually have already applied for it. And I also know about the excitement that is there in the H-1B visa holders regarding this Canadian work permit. So maybe by the end of today or tomorrow or maybe by the end of next week, this 10,000 cap is expected to be filled very quickly. So clearly do not waste any time if you have got programs, cancel those programs and prioritize this Try to complete it today or as soon as you see this video. Okay, now when we have talked about the details, eligibility and benefits of the program and also about the criticality and urgency of you filling that application. Now let's go online and try to see the portal. I'll provide the link to that in the description box below. So if you want to start, you can start right away. All right, so this is the official page of Government of Canada and you can go onto this website. I'll provide the link in the description box below. Here they have mentioned about all the details. It's like the fee is $155. They've mentioned here very clearly that this is a temporary policy which will last for one year or until they get 10,000 applications. 
And of course, I believe that these 10,000 applications would be filled in less than a week's time. I won't be surprised if they get filled in less than 24 hours. So this is your time. Let's talk about more details. If your passport expires in less than three years, your work permit will expire at the same time as your passport. Let's see who can apply. We already talked about it. Of course, bringing your family, all those details are mentioned here as well. Then how to apply. So these are the documents that would be required to apply. You'll need a copy of your current H-1B visa form I-797 or I-797B. If you have the H-1B visa, probably you would know much better than me about it. This is a letter from the US government confirming your H-1B visa application was approved. Then of course, the proof that you live in US. This could be anything out of these mentioned here. Now for certain specifications, you might need a medical exam as well. I don't want to go into too much details. Of course, you're smart enough. You should be able to get the details on your own. Then the next thing, the most important thing that you have to apply online through the IRCC portal. So this is the application link, which you can actually use to start your application. And this is pretty simple, but I got to know from some people who have already filled it that they are getting stuck at certain areas. Unfortunately, at this time, because it has been only less than 24 hours that this portal has been launched, you might find very few answers to your queries online. But then if you're facing any troubles in filling your application, you might have to navigate through on your own. But yes, I can confirm you that some people have already completed this application after facing certain challenges. So if you're able to navigate through those challenges, you should be able to complete it on time as well. So here they've mentioned some details very clearly. Please make sure that you go through each of these details. Yes, you might need to hurry, but please make sure that you don't make any mistakes in filling out those forms or providing those details because towards the end, you would need to submit an electronic signature, which confirms that all the information that you've provided is correct. So you really can't afford any mistakes because that might you get the visa, but can cause you trouble down the line. Now let's see what happens after you apply. The processing time, as I told earlier, would be six weeks. You would need to submit your biometrics. Here's the link how you can actually submit that. You would need to get an appointment at the biometrics collection center. They've also mentioned how they would process your application. If it is incomplete, they'll refuse your application without processing it. There's also an application status tracker to get the updates about your application. I know you'd be very curious to know what's happening with your application. So this should definitely help you. If your work permit application is approved, what happens after that? So you'll get an approval letter that says you're allowed to work in Canada. Woohoo! This letter is called the Port of Entry Letter of Introduction. You'll bring this letter with you when you travel to Canada and present it at the Port of Entry. This letter is not your work permit. You'll only get your work permit at the Port of Entry the day you arrive in Canada. The work permit will outline how long you can work and the conditions that you can work under. A fun fact, I see a spelling mistake over here, which is very rare. This should be a the instead of he. They can afford to make any mistakes, but you please try not to make any mistakes in your application. If you want me to make more videos about it, please let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please put your queries and feedback in the comment section and share with your friends if you think they might need it. Thanks a lot for watching this video.